All right. It is June 11th, 2021, which means it's time for the 11 month update on the free to play account. Before we jump into bags and upgrades, the first thing I want to do is knock out 16 of these void summons. We're going to get one more transcending spear for even more stellar shards that I can hopefully use soon, as well as maybe some dark heroes that I can use for Dark Sea Land 20. Um, so there's our Transcending Sphere. Nothing interesting other than that. Some food heroes, which will help with the anniversary event. Um, because as that just started yesterday. So knocking out this five star. There's a Russell copy. That's actually pretty huge because this account is sitting on an eight star Russell and is missing the next copy. Not that a nine star Russell is a huge upgrade, but it is the next Russell copy that the account needs. Plus we're getting plenty of light food and we're up to 3.6 million, um, uh, COT, so we're actually gonna maybe have a shot at getting Halora by the one year update. And there's that carry copy, which is awesome. So hopefully, we can get a Dark Seal on 20 clear soon. Now, I'm gonna go do the 600 summons for the anniversary event, and then we'll jump into status and upgrades. Also, before I do my 600 summons during this anniversary event, I did a basic summon yesterday for my dailies, and I managed to pull a Mirage. So, not only do I get the first basic summon reward of 200 gems i also have the second mirage now i have a third copy i needed last month to make this mirage a 10 star and feed it to ticks for imprints we also got one more core of transcendence so let's use that in the compass and then i'll go do the summons which will end up in another video okay now that the 600 summons are out of the way be sure to check out that video it's time to turn in some of these quest rewards so i finished my summon so i'll be able to get the heroic shards and garuda copy i'll be able to get all of these most important is this six star chest because i'm about to use that to do some leveling up i'll get all of these some more elite shards and i'll be stuck on this until i can build a new e1 and do some damage but getting pretty close other than damage and building up an e2 hero so i need to build an e2 hero do some damage to a boss and do more wishing coins and i'll be done with these quests I also finished a few more glory challenges recently, but accepted those rewards while not recording. Uh, my nine star Rust gave me a light and dark selection chest and my 10 star fortress food gave me some more puppets. So with that said, let's take the, so the account is still the same for now outside of food. Let's take this V1 ticks and start pushing them. First of all, to V2 easily up, oh, didn't prepare IDA so let's get the Mirage and the Dominator out that's my bad Mirage and Dami you're out that lineup is fine so we are going to push ticks past V2 since he's only the only hero I'm really using for now and eventually I'll probably swap his imprints around so it saves gems so there it is V3 ticks sorry V2 ticks on the free to play account let's not jump too far ahead of ourselves dump some stellar shards into him there's a V3 ticks for the free to play account. And we're going to dump towards V4 for now. We're not going to be able to max it out. We got to 28 on the attack node and 30 on the HP node. Now, other than that, the anniversary event will be completed. Likely not in this video, but another video. But I've got 150 fantastic shells. So I am going to swap out the cog that I get from the event since I already have a cog on Inosuke for the last copy of a Punisher. So that will mean I have a V almost four ticks, full resonance gear, an SS3 holy attack attack and crit crit attack with a splendid Punisher. This is about as good of a ticks as I can get. And I could even use the limited skin chest on him, but I'll probably save it for my um, transcendence hero whenever I get that. Also built carry up to eight star and Russell up to nine star and Ignis up to eight star. So those will help out a little bit in various game modes. And I will be able to finish this field to 10 star to V4 the ticks once I get a few more stellar shards. It happened before reset, but I was also able to finally clear Aspen Dungeon Death 50 before doing all these ticks upgrades, obviously, which puts me at 43rd on the server and gives me another smash point. Honestly, if I can get that Splendid Punisher, even without it, at V2, Tick should be huge. And I'm getting a little bit better at using Fiona and Anasuke since I'm not as used to using them in the dungeon. I'm also going to see if we can push Tower of Oblivion a little further. I got to 621 last time, so finally cleared that Penny Wave that was causing me some trouble. So let's take the 
this setup and just see how I do. Maybe do some swaps after that. Now, Tix is not running energy, which may be necessary with the two Oberons, but we'll have to see. Depends on how bad the Twines go. Oh, no, we should be fine. The Ignis gave him what he needs. And yeah, we'll be able to outlast the Valkyrie. There we go. So there's 621 down. I th we may be able to push all the way to 624 with this setup. I think the Mimwaves are going to give us a lot of trouble for now. So let's see. This wave should be cake once ticks collapse. Yep. V3 ticks do an absolute work in the tower, obviously. We do have a baby ticks. I don't have a built Michelle or Sleepless, but we can try that strategy. Did I do replay or next level? We can try the double tick strategy. Okay, next level. I could try running the V3 ticks and a five star ticks. I don't know if it'll be enough damage, but we can try it. Uh, the strategy I posted in my guide uh, a couple weeks ago. I'll include a link in the description. Ooh, that went a little rougher than I expected. So we're at 623. Um, let's watch that again. Maybe I'll swap the Ignis for an Amon Ra or something. The the damage from the Asmos was clearly the issue. Although we, if we could clap all three of them, um, RNG should just give us the clear. Yeah, we kind of really need to kill the three Asmodels so that they don't do that. Ah, oh, what? He had energy. All right, we should have energy, though. Yeah, the problem is if we get enough Asmodel actives, it's kind of a, a big problem for our ticks. But Michelle might not be too scary. All right, we clear it. So, 624. If you're not familiar with Mim, Mim Waves, you'll see why they're scary. I'm not... Yep. So, we one-tap a Mim. That is clearly a problem, so we are going to need to run an energy artifact on the ticks. So first up, we're taking Demon Bell from Heart Watcher and we're putting it on Tix, who is already set up the way we want. Horus can clear 624 solo, but not at V0 or V1. Uh, I think it takes V2 probably for 624 and V3 for 639. Check out that guide. So we summoned a Sleepless. So let's build up Sleepless to 50, I believe, should give us... Can we quick upgrade to a specific level? We can. Sweet. I think 50 is when he gets his res. Oh no, 50 is for Michelle. We need to take Sleepless all the way to his 100 skill. So there we go. Actually 80 would've been fine, but now we have a Resurrect on our Sleepless, and we're also gonna bring the Baby Ticks with an Energy Artifact. See if we can't clear it. So the way this works is, we're gonna wanna put out some Ticks Actives. Actually, the Baby Ticks isn't gonna do anything. We're gonna put out the Big Ticks Active. He'll die, and we're hoping that the his death passive will kill the Mims before any bad stuff happens. So, unfortunately, speed-wise, I'm thinking that the Baby Ticks will never get to go. The problem is if we use Ticks with the Punisher, he will one-shot with a basic, which is also what we don't want. Um, let's see what happens. We maybe can turn down Ticks' damage a little bit. Yeah, so he goes first, which is obvious. Um, but if we give him back the Punisher... He will one shot with a basic. Oh no, he did not. So this went a little better. Although it looked like the baby ticks killed with his active. That's also not ideal. So baby ticks is active is doing way too much damage. We may need to just drop the baby ticks entirely. Okay, there we go. This is much better. Ah, the Sleepless died, though. So we're going to swap. We don't want the Sleepless to die right away. So we're going to we're gonna run it like this. We might be able to clear with this. I want to show what a, a good attempt looks like. Okay, here we go. We need the Sleepless to not kill anything until our Big Ticks does is active. So it may just not be possible. We'll give it one more shot. I don't think it's possible bringing the baby ticks, and I don't think the... Wow, did our big ticks get one shot? Did I see that right? Okay, so we'll drop the baby ticks. We'll show it off with just the big ticks, see how we do. We'll buy one magical droplet, and then I'll show off some other stuff on this account. How do we do with big ticks without energy artifact? Steals a little bit of attack. Ah... Not going to work. All right, let's show off something else on this account since I'm pretty sure we've got no shot at doing what I wanted to show off. So this works better with two 10-star Tixes. 
Honestly, it's better than an E5 ticks, which is crazy. Okay, so I managed to make a few upgrades, and I want to see if we can't push a little further in Fortress Sealand yet. So Inasuke, instead of having the five-star gear and the four-star gear, he's now running a full set of Ranger gear. Technically, it's not optimal. Um, if you want to run him with MSS, you'd run just weapon and accessory with a glittery MSS. And if you wanted to run him full attack, you'd run a six-star gear here. I don't think I can ab I can successfully run. I don't think I have a six-star accessory. Um, yeah, so I can't run a 1-3 split with 6-star gear, and class gear is better than a 1-3 split with 5-star gear. So we're going to run an Asuke Full Ranger, regular COG, crit, crit attack, SS2 stone, 224, 2, 2, and he's almost V1. We're going to continue to bring the Fiona for now, who runs a 1-3 split, precision attack, attack, glittery antlers cane, and 21422, and then the four fire fists who are going to need energy artifacts. They do not have them at the moment. So Heart Watcher, Ignis, Amon Ra, and Amon Ra. So we're going to run four energy Fire Fists. I think the E5 Fiona is still going to be more useful than a fifth Fire Fist, but I don't know. She She's shown some to be hit or miss, but she does take a few extra attacks from the Inasuke, which can be helpful. I think with the class gear and a little more, two more points in Anti-Warrior, we should be able to at least get 18 done. Let's take a look. Just a reminder that the Patreon tiers have been updated, so be sure to check those out. The link is in the description if you want to support the channel or get some cool perks for yourself. All right, so we got to get that freeze off. We Oh, wait, we don't have to worry about that. Purify is upgraded. See, Inasuke's shields just get melted. Um, I was going to say, if she does put out decent damage, she's worth it just because we can um, maybe pick off one of those minions early, but not really. All right, two CCs. Fortunately, we kill the one of the CC'd ones, so that's not great. All right, we're down to just the Warriors, which we have anti-tech against us at least. All right, just us and the boss, and we do take his active, so if we can... Oh, I think we got 18, guys. All right, there we go. Fortress Sealand, 18, 593 million from the Inasuke. Let's try and skip 19 twice and see if we can RNG a victory. No, we cannot, but I was able to clear Sealand 18 on the free-to-play account, so... Okay, so pay-to-win artifact-wise, you've seen some of this. But at the moment, this account has got a glittery antlers cane, one kiss of ghost, but it will have a second kiss of ghost from the event before it's over, a radiant punisher, which will become splendid once we swap the second kiss of ghost, and one demon bell from last week's event, which is pretty awesome. Also has a huge amount of fearless and energy artifacts, which is really nice and definitely helps out with stuff like keeping energy artifacts on the five star Amon Ra's and so on. Bag-wise, I'm up to 3.7 million Crystals of Transcendence, so a shot at getting a Void here before the one-year mark is over, we'll have to see. Also have another 31,000 Seller Shards, so getting close to V4 ticks, but not quite there yet. I have 36 million Resonance Gear, um, Resonance Resources, Soul Resonance Crystal. I probably won't build another Resonance set until I really know who my Transcendence here is, since it's a little pricey for a free-to-play account. I finished some of my monthlies. The tavern quest is done. I'm one short of seven star and broken spaces is still a little hard to clear with only these 26 tickets. Other than that, um, monster wise working on maxing the dragon so I can get more glory quests. And yeah, the, the next steps for this account and hopefully I can get most of, if not all of these done before the one year mark is get ticks to V4 and get Aspen dungeon death 100 done before the one year mark. Try and build up a second ticks, possibly to 10 star to clear tower 624 and then later on 639 when I get there and then start working on my fifth E5 hero who honestly I don't really have a good option for yet. Um, Heart Watcher is not worth it. She's PVE only. Siggy's PVE only. Russ, I need a lot more copies. Carrie, I need a lot more copies. Rogan, I need a lot more copies. Ignis, I need more copies and so on. So honestly, I'll be in a holding pattern trying to figure out my next E5 hero. Um, yeah, don't really have copies. Ignis is really the the front runner though, since Ignis Ticks is going to be huge for pushing Explorer and then Valiant. I'm sitting on three, four, five, eight copies of Ignis and some chests. So Ignis is likely going to be the next E5 on this account. I want to get the Ticks to V4 before I do that. Then I can regress him and take those imprints out. 
that is probably it for this account. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see that I don't normally show off on these videos and hopefully you're really enjoying this series as much as I am. For more of my beginner guides and tutorials, you could check out this playlist in the top left corner. If you want to watch my orange artifact free to play tier list, check out this video up here in the top right corner. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if I've provided you with any value and help me grow this channel.